To be honest, January was really like one of the most productive months I had until uh, we got COVID uh, at the end of the month. <laughs> What's up, Simonics, and welcome to something new, something different, a new monthly format that I will call Developer Logbook. A logbook is a record of important events in the management, operation, and navigation of a ship. Although my business is not really a ship, I wanted to integrate this new format. So a YouTube channel evolved over time. We had different formats in the past, and now we got this new one exactly for three different reasons. First of all, I want to inspire other developers. Maybe you want to do the same. Maybe you want to start your own side business, build a SaaS, whatever it might be. So maybe these videos act as a little inspiration for you. Reason number two is I just want to document my journey. So a few years ago, I had a monthly or actually a daily vlog. Uh, then we had weekly videos, so I tried this uh, a few times already. But now I just want to have one monthly review video in which I'll share all the things that I did, that I work on, that I plan to do, um, to completely document my path to hopefully building a successful uh, startup or SaaS in the near future. And third reason, I really want to get better at creative filmmaking. So again, I tried this in the past, you can see my personal vlogs, it's kind of, well, they completely <laughs> suck. Uh, and I think I got a lot better in general in front of camera, so I really hope I can get even better in terms of creative uh, filmmaking uh, because the usual tutorials are not that creative. Before we can actually start to develop our app, and I want to uh, definitely improve that area. And because I want to shift my focus this year mostly away from all the consulting work and even a bit away from creating products to building my own SaaS, um, I want to document this and thought it would be a good idea to create this new format. And I want to be completely open with all the things, the metrics, um, potentially even the income, uh, all the ideas that I try to execute that I failed and that work. So you can maybe learn from this and get a bit inspired. Because this is the first episode of the new series and maybe you're even new to this channel, I want to start with a little status quo. Whatever you want checking in with different projects and showing you what I got uh, going on. So I've been self-employed for almost five years now, mostly uh, funded by the Ionic Academy. The Ionic Academy is my membership site for everyone who wants to learn Ionic fast with courses and a lot of material. Besides that, I got ongoing sales from different books or courses that I've created over the years. And also uh, I do some consulting every now and then, but I really want to scale the consulting effort back as that's just trading time for money. And in the end, I want to have something that scales and brings in money while I don't work. And next to those income sources, I already got a few SaaS projects that I've built over the years going on. Most of them actually failed, but some of them actually bring in a bit of recurring income, especially Kickoff Ionic, which is a prototyping tool uh, in which you can easily bootstrap Ionic applications quite fast. Anyway, this project is not new anywhere that would uh, really have a substantial impact on my own income. I want to create something new, uh, some SaaS with either monthly or annual recurring revenue, or maybe even having an exit in the future for like a few millions, that would also be fine for me. But anyway, that's just a dream. Right now, I'm just focused on um, building up these passive passive income sources with different micro SaaS or regular SaaS ideas. And by the way, if you don't know this, this means software as a service, because I actually got questions about that and I thought everyone in tech would know about that by now. To be honest, January was really like one of the most productive months I had until uh, we got COVID uh, at the end of the month. I started the year super motivated. Um, I was really focused during the whole month. I worked out almost every day and I just had a clear focus because uh, this January I got started with the best self uh, journal. This year is the best self journal, which has a different focus because usually I plan my goals for like the whole year. And with this planner, you focus on three months at a time. And that definitely helped me uh, to have three goals for the first uh, quarter of this year. And so I was really laser focused in January on all those things. So next to all the ongoing content production that I have every month, I also created a free quick start guide. It's about, I think, 50 pages, um, <laughs> like a little ebook. It will be free. 
I have created it. I didn't have the time to market it, so it's gonna be available somewhere in February, but it's anyway more targeted towards Ionic beginners. Next to that, I got really active on social media, so I got back into uh, Instagram and I even got started with TikTok. You might laugh, but TikTok is becoming really one of the big platforms uh, to build your own community and it's actually quite easy uh, and making these little TikToks, I don't know how to call them, is actually pretty fun. And besides that, we really started with our SAS journey. In December, we started uh, with the project idea, with the team formation, so we're now three working on uh, our little idea. And in January, I think we finished the whole pro uh, process of uh, doing all the legal stuff, setting up all the agreements and all that stuff. So in January, we really created the projects. Someone's working on the API, I'm working on the front end. I made a little bit of progress, but actually not enough. I had planned this for the end of uh, January and then we got COVID. So I'm already a bit delayed and that's gonna be a few late evenings, I guess, to catch up. And besides all the work-related things, I also lost five kilos. I'm really happy about this. I still wanna lose five more. So that's for the next month, uh, or actually the next two months. But overall, I just focused on being my best version every day. For February, I also got quite a few tasks on my list. So first of all, I wanna somehow integrate the quick start guide and make it available for others because I think it's a pretty good resource. Then of course, I got my ongoing content. I need to create tutorials, videos for this channel, for my blog DevDactic and also for the Ionic Academy members. And that's just gonna take like one or two weeks uh, in the beginning of every month. Then of course, I wanna make a lot of progress on the current SES project I'm working on and I will hopefully be able to share some more screens with you because right now, now it's just a login and a few inside pages so hope I can share more with you pretty soon. Next to that I also had on my list to improve the onboarding for Ionic Academy members because right now the onboarding is a little bit bumpy and perhaps even outdated so I want to improve the onboarding with questions, I want to integrate uh, better roadmaps so uh, the developers can find exactly the right sources right in the beginning to get started with the Ionic Academy faster. And finally something I don't know I will actually get to but that is uh, creating a new beginner friendly YouTube playlist with like small examples, creating a site menu, creating a tab bar, combining this, uh, making HTTP requests, really like bit sized videos that beginners can go through on YouTube because YouTube remains one of the biggest traffic sources for the Ionic Academy. Um, and so I wanna create something that attracts of course more people uh, to the Academy in the end. So yeah, that's quite a lot of work for February, but that's all I got to work on uh, and also a bit of social media content and I, I think they're like like 20% of tasks I haven't even mentioned which are these small support tasks, creating videos, creating stuff like this really. All of this takes time, I have the same 24 hours every day like you um, and this is basically my job. All right, that's it already for the January review of our developer logbook. I'm really not doing this for the clicks because YouTube is really paying me nothing for the videos uh, until we maybe reach a million followers. I don't know. I really do this to document the journey and perhaps inspire some of you to take more action in certain directions, um, get new ideas, um, come up with your own side projects, really. Uh, that's all I want to do. If you got any questions or if you would like to see any other things in this uh, monthly format, please leave a comment and of course stay subscribed to the channel for the next video and more tutorials coming in the future. And even if this didn't inspire you, it will at least act as a little black box when all my operations and next projects for SES and uh, staying self-employed fail in the future. But hopefully that won't happen and I will catch you next time. So happy coding, Captain Ionic. Yeah.